Hi everyone, it's Sorkin. Today we are going to solve a problem when we are given a binary tree and we need to convert it to a greater tree. So what's that mean? It means that the, the value of each node we are updating to value of that node plus the value of all other nodes which are greater than the value of this one. For example, let's take this one. We have a value of this node is zero and the value of the all other nodes is greater than the value of this one. So it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And if we are adding all this, it gives us 36. So we are updating the value of zero with the 36. So, and also it's a binary search tree and we are given a reminder what the binary search tree is. It's kind of a, also a hint for us. So the values on the left is the value on the left of a binary tree is less than so the the left subtree of the node contains only nodes with the keys less than the the keys node so for example the values on the left is all the values is less than the values uh, the root value and the values on the on the right so how we are going to solve this problem in this case we are going to use the dfs algorithm so deep first search algorithm so we are going to first uh, deep first search the right subtree because in this case what's the greatest value the greatest value is on the right side or right node of the rightest node of our of our binary search tree right so for example in this case it's eight right so what's the which the what's the value uh, there is is there is no value that is greater than eight so that's why we are keeping the same value here eight how about the value of the the node that is above it's um it's parent node it's parent node is the it's more than so eight uh, eight is more than seven so we are adding 15 so we are going deeper searching our tree so we are going here and we are taking this node and uh, as we go here we are maintaining a variable sum to which we are adding the value so first we are adding seven then we are adding now it's our value is 15 then we are adding the value of 15 uh, the, we are adding 6 which is 21 then we are adding 20 uh, to 21 we are adding 5 26 and so on okay first thing that we are going to do we are going to create a one variable int let's call it sum global variable and that that we are going to use to track our sum okay now we can go and uh, deep search our tree so for that let's just first check the corner case and also our base case if the root if the root is equals to null then in that case we are gonna return root right and now we can go and uh, deep search our tree let's just copy paste that here and the first we are starting with the right node right so we are taking the root right and after that we what we are going to do so let's say that we are at the right side and the lowest layer and the right node right so we are now starting to backtrack and we are adding the value to our sum so for that let's do that to our sum we are adding the value uh, root value right and then we are setting our root value we are setting to our sum and after that we are going to do what we are going to traverse the same way our left node and we are adding here left and at the end we are going to return our we are going to return our root okay let's run it that's the whole solution. Okay, great. It works as expected. Okay, what's the time and space complexity of this solution? The time complexity of this solution is, since we are visiting all the nodes, is of n. How about the, how about the space complexity? Space complexity is determined by the height of the search tree. So the worst case, it's going to be, it's going to be of n. It's going to be O of n. But on average, this is the worst case scenario. And the uh, worst case. And on average, 
it is all log of n. Log of n. Okay, hope you like my content. If you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Bye.